the nightmarish cyclops shark to an enormous mutant wolf fish. Here are 13 bizarre sea monster photos explained. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 13. This looks like a creature that was either digitally designed or genetically designed in a lab, but it's a rare goblin shark. This creature was a juvenile male that measured around 4 feet long. It was caught by a fisherman off the Australian coast between Sydney and Melbourne in 2015. These creatures are sometimes referred to as aliens of the deep. They usually hunt for prey on the ocean floor at depths up to 900 meters or over 2,900 feet. Because of that, the animals are rarely seen in shallow coastal waters. Number 12. Pictures of this beast caused a lot of controversy when they were first published in 2015. A tourist named Harvey Robertson was taking pictures inside a sea cave in Corfu, Greece. When he examined his photos, he discovered this strange animal next to the boat, with its head and snout poking out of the water. A lot of people thought it might be a dolphin-like creature. Even experts were unable to identify it. But a scientist suggests it's just the result of an optical illusion. The so-called animal has the approximate appearance of a low, free board fender that protects the upper and lower side of a boat. Because the vinyl constructs have a shiny appearance, people mistook the fender for a sea animal. Number 11. While we may not think of Cape Fur seals as sea monsters per se, that doesn't mean they cannot act like monsters. Recently, the marine mammals have been spotted off the South African coast actually killing sharks and eating their guts. While we couldn't find any pictures of the seals actually feasting on internal organs, you can get a good idea of how aggressive they are toward the blue sharks. The two animals are about the same size, and it's not the first time this sort of behavior has been observed in seals. Experts think the seals might be going after the sharks in order to remove competition for the fish they usually feed upon. Number 10. After violent storms struck the coast of New Zealand in 2013, this strange creature washed up on a beach in the Bay of Plenty. It appeared to be the rotting carcass of some sort of a monster from the deep seas and measuring some 30 feet long. The half-buried head shows gaping jaws and long, blackened, jagged teeth. Most of the creature's body was missing, but large flippers were visible. Guesses as to what the animal might be ranged from a saltwater crocodile to a dinosaur. But after all the speculation, marine mammal experts finally identified it as the carcass of an orca or killer whale. They've been known to wash ashore in various states of decomposition. Number 9. The Megamouth shark was first discovered in 1976. Since then, it's been spotted fewer than 100 times. The extremely rare creature was snared in 2015 by fishermen in a Japanese village. You can get an idea of just how massive the creature is in these photos. The Megamouth shark, which measures some 5 meters or 16 feet long, can be seen with its mouth propped open, exposing its enormous jaws. Other photos give you a sense of scale as a fisherman lays next to the creature. Most of these animals have been found in Japan, the Philippines, and Taiwan. Did you know the Megamouth shark can live for up to a hundred years. Number eight. This picture was taken in 1964 by a man named Robert Lasseric in Stonehaven Bay, Hook Island in Queensland, and it's said to depict a huge tadpole-shaped sea monster. Now, it's often thought to have been fabricated, but it has become a much reproduced image. Mr. Lasseric claimed the animal was up to 80 feet long and displayed a wound on its head, possibly causing it to stop to rest. Some theories included the animal being a long-lost mastodonsaurus, that's a prehistoric amphibian creature. Others considered it a hoax, claiming the so-called creature was created from plastic sheeting weighed down with sand. In fact, Mr. Lasseric was claimed to have attempted to form a group that could reap profits with stories of a sea serpent. Our sources do indicate the pictures were staged. Regardless, the Hook Island monster still has its believers today. Number 7. This bug-eyed beast was pulled out of Australian waters earlier in 2016. The image of the animal with needle-like teeth and thick drool oozing from its mouth became widely shared across social media as people tried to figure out exactly what it was. Well, the bizarre-looking creature was identified as a monkfish, also known as Endo's goosefish, and are often found in Australian waters. Number 6. 
This critter washed up in New South Wales in Lake Macquarie. As the picture made its way around the internet, many people were convinced it was fake, and the silvery-skinned animal certainly does look unnatural. But experts identified it as a pike eel, which can grow nearly six feet long, or 1.8 meters. They're known to be nocturnal beasts and are notoriously difficult to catch. Number five. Two deep-sea dwelling oarfish were found washed ashore on California beaches in 2013. One of them, measuring 18 feet long, posed with a group of scientists. That picture went viral, and there were plenty of people who thought the image was a hoax. One thing you couldn't see, which might be for the best, is that marine biologists later discovered the creature was riddled with worms and parasites. The second oarfish was 14 feet long and was female. It was discovered to be pregnant, with thousands of eggs contained in ovaries stretching six feet long. Oarfish usually dive some 3,000 feet under the sea, making sightings rare. Did you know an even bigger oarfish appeared in California in 1996? It was found by Navy SEALs and measured 23 feet long. Number four. Fishermen in Thailand reeled in this bizarre looking creature. Chances are you've seen it popping up online. The pale eel-like animal had razor sharp teeth and a large head and a long body. It appeared to have no eyes. Footage of the creature went viral and elicited a lot of guesses as to just what it might be. We still haven't found a definitive answer, but several sources have claimed the animal might be a subfamily of eel gobies. Those creatures are noted for their highly reduced eyes and are known to live in the waters of the Western Pacific and Indian Oceans. Well, that's what we came up with anyway. Do you have a better explanation? Number three. And what kind of spiders are these? Well, they're actually not arachnids, but they are called sea spiders. They lurk in the depths of polar waters of the Arctic and Southern Oceans. And while they're found all over the world, they seem to grow the largest in these regions, attaining leg spans up to 10 inches. Like arachnids, these creatures have eight legs, but they're actually large marine arthropods, and are thought to exhibit polar gigantism, possibly due to the high oxygen content of colder water found in polar oceans. Number two. When this photo first made the rounds, a lot of people were convinced it depicted a man holding some sort of a mutant fish, possibly as a result of the Fukushima nuclear plant meltdown. The fish was caught off the coast of Hokkaido, Japan by Hiroshi Hirasaka, and his pictures might be a little misleading. Wolf fish can grow big. The largest specimen recorded was around five feet and weighed nearly 40 pounds. But Mr. Hirasaka's picture makes it look larger than that. It's actually a bit of forced perspective. The fish is being held close to the camera lens, creating the optical illusion. It's not unlike those pictures you see of tourists who seem to hold the Leaning Tower of Pisa in place. You can see other angles where Mr. Hirasaka has placed the face of the fish even closer to the lens, making the creature appear monstrous. Other pictures show a a normal perspective. The fish is still an impressively big catch, however, and does appear to be healthy. How big would you say this wolf fish might actually be? Number one. Images of this creature kicked up a lot of controversy when they first appeared several years ago. The one-eyed albino animal would certainly appear to be a prop or digital creation, but marine biologists have confirmed that this creature truly did exist. The shark pup was cut from the womb of an endangered dusky shark that was caught in the Gulf of California. The animal's condition is a result of cyclopia, a genetic disorder that prevents the eyes from forming into two cavities. Now, a lot of people think the critter resembles Mike from Monsters, Inc. Can you see it? 